um, I spoke to oh. I spoke to the Murdoch team, and um, we're all primed to have Mike Murdoch tomorrow, which should be great. So, um, what do you think of that? That was powerful, Jeremy. Look, before we go on, remind remember twenty two, twenty six, thirty. Do you remember? Told yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. It's, it's amazing, bro. I was thinking yeah. about that too. It's crazy. So anyway, amazing uh, times. I thought that and we have amazing. we have Dr. Mike Murdoch tomorrow. How do you feel about that? It's amazing. This is a think about it, season two is crazy. Like honestly, we're leveling up now. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? The think think about it, season two is like it's amazing. Like this second go around, like this has been a blessing. Yeah, I, there's there's a lot more people on. I think somebody's done something. But, yeah, um, I don't know what happened today, but hey, shout out to you guys. <laughs> yeah, because I was wondering if people were losing interest, but we got a lot more people on today. So I'm really grateful to Daniel for that. Um, you know, that was, it was amazing to see behind the scenes, you know. It's so. just the whole story. And then also one of the things that stuck out to me was the servanthood and how he said he yeah. was just content with just serving. And yeah. how, like, to him, he even felt like the fulfillment of the, the word of the Lord that came Bro, to him was just to work that's out. That's the, the key. Way. That's the key to the anointing. I told you. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you did. And then, I don't want to like, go too deep into that, but yeah. That, how that God gives you access to men, men, men of God. Like, <laughs> when, he, when he gives you a certain type of access, that, mm. that, that, that's a sign that he wants to use you in a big way. Like, I mean, everything you said, you know, the 22, 26, 30, like, this is crazy, bro. This is accurate. So, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, tomorrow's Dr. Mike. And yeah, I, have some, I have some more explosive stuff. If, if it works out, I'll let you know. But, I love it. I love it. I, um, love I spoke it. to my good friend, Steve. Remember Steve Pater from India? Yeah. Yeah, I had a really good um, chat with him. He's a great guy. And anyway, we're working on some stuff. So, if we're able to... He's my connect, my plug for, for some, yeah, some. I love this. I want to do some Mike, Asian guys, so we'll see. Mike Murdoch, though, that's crazy, bro. I, I can't even believe that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. That's, but that's yeah, crazy. I just I thought people were, were gonna stop, you know, because the numbers were going down. But today is up again, so today, yeah, it's an anointing. It's an it's an anointing, you know, that Bonky carried a great one, and. Um, yeah. I love what you said. Our generation is going to be the generation of evangelism. Mm. And like, yeah, I'm really passionate about that. And I think so Prophet has been saying as well, it's our year to go into other world, preach the gospel, and, you know, attempt great things. I think, I think another thing that stuck out to me, because even yesterday with the Think About It Yesterday, um, and even the day before with Billy, um, he was saying that, um, the because we, we were looking, he, we, you asked him, do you think it's going to be in a particular person? And he said it's widespread. And then um, it's going to be upon 70 elders. And, and Kalenda kind of said the same thing today, too. And everyone with Prophet, he said he's going to try to send 2,000 apostles. So you realize that I think it really is the last days. And the mm. Holy Spirit will be pouring out upon all flesh. And I think, mm. yeah, I mean, if you notice, like, everyone's kind of talking in that same way. Even Pastor mm. Benny, like, it, it seems like the Spirit is saying the same thing. So I think, like, what you've been, even what you've been telling me personally about, like, how God is just looking for people who's whose hearts are perfect and complete towards him. And and I don't know. It's just, I think it's a blessed time, honestly. So Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, yeah, I'm going to go now. Um, not much else to say. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you guys will help me to share um, um, Dr. Mike Murdoch coming on tomorrow, that would be amazing. Um, because... I'm doing this for you guys. You know, I could do a phone call and just like yeah, talk to whoever I need to talk to. So um yeah, if you guys when you guys um get tired of watching us, we'll stop. So I see. I see. Um let me know when you are and then uh, I don't think we're gonna be tired, bro. You can't these these can't stop, bro. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, so But today was good. We had a lot of people watching. Yeah, today was good. Um, Got back. Yeah. Facts. So I'm sharing Facts. my thing on Instagram now. Sharing as a post, and then I'm sharing as a story. Counting on you guys. 
the trailer right now to um to make it happen. See what we get. Because I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for our church. Yeah. And I'm privileged. Oh, what am I doing? Why was I going live on another phone? On earth. I know, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Hold on. How do I post as a thing? Shut up. I can't be even doing this on air, bro. Anyway, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. <laughs> so, um... Oh, Mike Murdoch. Yes, sir. This is crazy. But, but it's great, you know, for me, the greatest thing is to know the life of the people that God is using and to know what they've actually gone through. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you that for sure. Yeah. To hear that the story. is the greatest thing, to, to hear the story. And, yeah. To see every stage and even like, the age like 22 like young it's like the, you just see like everything father's been telling us is so true it's like i don't know it's yeah like, yeah it's crazy so i just hope we we um i hope we we appreciate because like i feel privileged to be in a position where i can reach out to all these people um some of these are old relationships. Most Someone said, hashtag be Josh, don't stop. <laughs> now I feel like stopping sometimes because I don't know, because I'm doing it for you. So if you guys don't want to come on, I'll just like do a, a, a FaceTime call. I see. Like literally and just, <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I don't know if you get my point. Like what's the point? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. You do it for us. You don't have to. You can just call them directly if you want to. So it's like, exactly, yeah. This is. Like, I'm this doing is this for you guys, and I feel it's such a blessing listening to this story, these stories. You know, and, and you know who I have coming up next week. Ooh, I have somebody who traveled with R. W. Shambach, like an old timer, ooh, ooh, ooh. who traveled and preached with Shambach. That's gonna Jeez. be. Crazy. That's crazy. Travels you know who Shambach is, right? Yeah, I know Shambach is, of course. Yeah, uh, but uh, he was. He no, was don't big. say of it's... course. Don't say of course because, bro, Ben Ben Blacksmith doesn't know who that is. Oh, oh, so like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, let's temper it down, okay. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know who that is, so yeah, anyway. So, anyway, this guy traveled with him and, um, has and in, in that he's, he's a great man of God himself, and mm -hmm. you know, oh, crazy, crazy. I don't want, I don't want to give too much away. And then, oh my gosh, um, bro. if it works out, if it works out, I have a great, great father of the faith, also, bro. I don't really? even know, I thought it's the father of the faith was. Really? Like another person? Yo, like this is a different person from work. But if that works out, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And it's just great to hear. It's just great to hear. I tell you, yeah, these yeah. are blessed times. Honestly. So anyway, God bless all of you for watching. Very grateful to you. Jeremy, I don't know what's wrong with the internet. It just cut off. Really? So anyway. Jeremy? Yeah, you, you, look, you look terrible. You look Oh, awful. well. America. God bless all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Evangelist Daniel Kalenda. We had a blessed time. Um, it's so wonderful to see where people come from and how servanthood really is the, the root to the anointing. You know, um, was it you are sharing with the day Joshua was a servant of Moses? Yeah. You know, one day they needed someone to prophesy and they didn't ask for the guy who preached next to Elijah. They didn't ask yeah. for the guy who was the colleague of Elijah. They didn't ask for the guy who knew Elijah. They didn't ask for the guy who brought Elijah's messages. They said, there's this guy called Elisha. He poured water on the hands of Elijah. He was the servant of Elijah. And when, whenever they're looking for someone to carry a mantle, they look for the guy who was serving oh, yeah. and the guy oh, who yeah. was the servant. And, and, oh, and yeah. Jesus knew this. That's the only way to walk in the anointing. So when he, when he had to choose a form to come in on earth, he didn't come as a doctor. He didn't come as a lawyer. He didn't come as a Pharisee. The Bible says he came in the form of a servant. Mm -hmm. And, in that, and it's, it's in that form that you can catch a mantle and you can walk in mm -hmm. a certain level of the anointing. And, and that's what the Bible said. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to Come serve. On. To serve. Service is a great thing. And it really is the key. And, and the thing about service is it tests your heart. And it tests the, 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 the origin and the basis for which you want to serve God. And, you know, 
I tell you, it's just a great honor to steward the anointing, like to just have the opportunity, even if you never actually preach. It's just yeah. a great thing to trust me. I know, like it's it's my greatest honor to steward and serve the anointing and serve. Yeah. And and like I say, I'm not I'm I'm not chosen. I'm called into ministry, but God has not chosen me. Chosen me. Um, God has chosen prophet and. Wow. Um, you know, for me, it's just a great honor. Like, I want, I want Prophet to live to like 90, 95, 96. Mm. Because what, if he's 96, I'm going to be like 70. So it's like, yeah, yeah like, it's, yeah. We'll just, <laughs> you just serve. I can go, I can go at 80 or 85 or something. Mm. I don't mind. And then, yeah, it's, yeah, we'll just go together. Just yeah, mm. but like, it's just an honor to be able to serve the anointing. And the, and the question is if you have the opportunity. And like you said, I'm going to stay on these boxes. And that's what the Bible says. God doesn't see as man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance. But God is always looking at the heart. You know. Mm. And so service really, the servanthood stage. And then that's what Jesus said to the disciples. He waited till Judas was gone and says, Henceforth, I don't call you servants. I call you friends. Because the only way to be the friend of God is through service. Goodness. And, it's, Goodness. And, Goodness. and until they were able to serve Jesus for three years. And so everything that they did with Jesus was at the level of a servant. And he said, I call you no longer friends because everything I've received from the Father I've made known unto you. And, and, mm. and that's how it is for every man of God. Like the things Bonky has received from the Father, the mantles, the anointings, the giftings, the ease, the grace, the oil is only available to those who serve. And so you, you serve the anointing. And one day, far away in your ministry, far away, it takes a long time in your ministry, yeah. um, the man of God turns to you and says, I call you friend because everything I received from God, everything Bonke received from God in Lesotho and in South Africa, then he hands it over to the one who's serving. And, and, yeah. and that's the key to carrying a certain level of the anointing. The prophet talks about that in mega church. Look, I tell you, pick up the book and just study. You know, don't, don't say you know. And, and even okay. prophet talks about how Elijah... Elisha was a servant of Elijah. And one of the mm. things that struck me about that was um, when you read 1 Kings, in 1 Kings 19, 18 or 19, I believe, um, Elisha is anointed to be prophet in the room of Elijah. He throws the mantle mm. on him, kills his oxen, and starts following him. People think that's the end of Elijah's ministry. But in a certain sense, it was not. It was just halfway mm. through. Okay. And, and okay. Naboth hadn't happened. Naboth was... Mm. was now about to happen you know naboth jezebel ahab yeah. that whole story that hadn't happened um wow. elijah elijah hadn't called down fire on the captain of 50 and his 50. there's so many other parts of elijah's ministry he hadn't done when we talk about gilgal jericho jordan that was the day elijah was leaving that's just the last uh, day but last all day. through that time elisha was walking with elijah when he was prophesying to him about ahab in fact ahab's son comes along which is a haziah and Ahaziah says um He's going to die. He falls through the roof of his house, gets wounded, and sends some servants to ask a prophet of Baal, which is an idol, um, in another mm -hmm. country, whether he's going to recover or whether he's going to die. So the messengers mm -hmm. are going on, on their way. They meet a man, and mm -hmm. th the man tells them, why do you go to a, a, a prophet of another god? Is there not a prophet of God in Israel? And he says, go mm -hmm. back to your master and tell, them, tell him that um, you know, I'm here. And then when they go back, as Hazar asked them, what did he look like? They said he was wearing this, he was wearing this, he was wearing this. They said, that's Elijah the Tishbite. Yeah. Said, in fact, in, in what the Bible actually says, is, it is the Tishbite. So my point is, all of these great things, that's when he calls down fire on the 50. Yeah. And all these wonderful things happen for years and years and years. And Elijah is right there. He's silent. Wow. Nobody knows him. He doesn't have any flyers. He doesn't go Facebook Live. No one knows what's wow. going on with him. He's just right there working in the warehouse, working right next to Elijah and watching. And then mm -hmm. one day, on the last day, yeah. Elijah says, I'm going somewhere. Elijah says, I've been following you for years. I'm not going to stop now. And he walks with him through. Mm -hmm. Prophet teaches in a wonderful way and steps to the anointing on all the things he leads him through until they're finally at the Jordan. And it's only at the Jordan, now watch this, that he actually receives the anointing. And there are other sons of the prophet who can see and even knew and told Elisha, do you know that your father is going today? And Elisha says yes, which means Elisha is gifted, which means Elisha mm -hmm. can see. 
But gifted uh, doesn't mean chosen. Gifted doesn't mean yes, anointed. He's gifted, yes, yes. And, wow. and, and he can see and tell that Elijah yes. is going today. He has a prophetic yes. gift, but he knows yes. that you still don't yes. wear the mantle. And so many yes. of us get a little gifted and stop serving. Yes. We get a little yes. gifted and think we've reached, and it takes years yes. of service. It doesn't wow. take two years, three years, five. Look, look at what he said. He's been working for 18 years, Genius. from 22 to 40. And before that, he had a church plant trying to yeah. make ends meet. Like, that's where he came from. Yeah. And, and the Lord sees such people and sees hearts like that and chooses such people. So then Elijah and Elisha walk all the way there. And then, remember, he's already been, a mantle has already been put on him, but that's not the real anointing. And it's right there at the Jordan that he finally sees Elijah taken up. And there's so many things to share there, which I don't want to go into. But then Elisha wears the mantle finally. Yes. And then he says, where is the God of Elijah? And it's only at that point that you start, mm -hmm. to, and, and that's what the Bible says, I have chosen my servant and I speak to him with my own voice. So there's wow. many of us who have not been chosen and God doesn't speak to us in a certain way. And so wow. God only started to dwell with Elisha in a certain way when Elijah's ministry had come to an end. You serve wow. till the end. You mm -hmm. serve mm -hmm. till the end. Yeah. And then when he returned, the prophets who couldn't be bothered to serve and follow around Elijah said, mm -hmm. surely the spirit of Elijah doth rest on him. And, and that's, that's really the road to the anointing. So anyway, that was just by the way. And I think, yeah, but I, I really like what you said. And then one of the things you even realize is that I think we forget that the mantle was actually thrown on Elisha in the beginning. But that yeah. mantle that was under was just to serve. It's the so mantle of even, service. It's the mm. mantle of service. You, even, you may even be anointed. You may even have, you're saying you may even have a gift. Like you may have an anointing on you, but that's just to serve. Look, so Jeremy, how, how far do you want me to go with this? I Look, go deep, I can, bro. Let's do this. I can. Let's do this. I can. We have. We have just a few more minutes. But let's, let's go. Let's go. But but there's also the disciples. Now the disciples are also a great example of service. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. When Jesus meets a Syrophoenician woman, um, in 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 John, I forget. It's in John. It's also in Matthew. But but he meets a Syrophoenician woman. He says these famous words. He says to her, "I'm not called, but unto the lost house of Israel." Do you remember that? Yes, sir. Yes, and Jesus sir. specifies that his calling is only yes. to the lost house of Israel. Jesus' yes, ministry and calling. Now, all of us are called to a particular place. Ministry yes, involves locations or a number of places. We have to go from here to here to here. And, and that's how it is. But Jesus' ministry was only to the lost house of Israel. Right? Yes, sir. That's now, right. in Matthew chapter 10, we see something very interesting. Jesus calls 12 disciples and sends them matthew 10 and in verse 5 he says go he sends them anoints them tell them tells them you know go and preach cast out devils and heal all manner of sicknesses and diseases this is matthew 10 verse 1 now in verse 5 then he gives the names of the disciples in 2 3 or 4 then in verse 5 he says go not into the way of the gentiles or into the city of the samaritans but go rather look at verse 6 go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel now listen to that then he gives them clear instructions. As you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. Freely have you received, freely give. Now, I don't know how, far, how, how deep you want me to go with this. Let's but go, let's go. I let's tell go. you, later on, their actual ministry is revealed in Matthew 28, same, same book, when he says, go into all the world. Watch this. And go to the, the Samaritans I told you not to go to in verse 5, Matthew 10, 5. Go to yeah. the Gentiles I told you not to go to. And that's when the real ministry begins. I don't know uh, if you're with me. Yes, so sir. the real yes, ministry, the, what they were doing in Matthew chapter 10 was still under Jesus' ministry, which was just to Israel. Because Jesus wow. said, that's my calling. So they were yes, operating sir. under Jesus' calling and not <laughs> operating under the calling of, of someone else. Is my mom on? That's yes. Crazy. And she texted me, bro. <laughs> she said that, oh, you look good on, on, you look good. Don't mind the Joshua. You look good on Instagram. Because the other day you said I look terrible. I mean, just a few minutes ago. So, yeah, that's by the way. Oh, look, my cool. days. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, yeah, I don't know how to go on from here. This is terrible. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, so I was just saying, you know, he says, go to the lost house of Israel. Do not go to the kingdom, uh, to the Gentiles and to the Samaritans. And so, and then he says, go and preach. So preaching doesn't mean you're, 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 you've passed the servanthood stage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes serving is preaching. Sometimes oh, healing is still yeah. serving because this okay. is all serving. This it's heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. And that's what I'm saying. A little gifting sometimes makes you feel that I'm done serving and it's time to launch out in ministry. 
but you are still a servant. You, even though Elisha could see and had a prophetic mm -hmm. gift, he was still serving. Even though you have a church and you preach on Sunday, you may still be in the stage where you're serving another person's ministry yes. because service is till the end. Till and the it's end. when Jesus was about to be caught up that he said, now begin your ministry mm. by going into all the world and preaching the gospel and told mm. them to go to the exact place he told them not to go to in the beginning because that was their servanthood stage of ministry. And it wow. goes on to say, don't provide gold, silver, or brass in your purses because in your yes. servanthood stage, you need to learn how to serve God without money. Okay. This, don't provide, he says, no script, which is like a wallet yes. or a bag. Don't, wow. don't, even, don't, even, don't even open a bank account because wow. nothing's okay. coming. And, and that is the stage of ministry where there's very little financial reward, but you need to learn how to, and that's what Daniel was saying. Wasn't paid much, didn't have a job, couldn't make ends meet, and that's, yeah. that's a Isn't profit bossing people to our bishop, to, to action, and then also when he went to go serve Michael Bassett in, in, in London, in the UK, all those things, like no, no financial gain, nothing else, but he's just serving, and, he, and everyone has to go through that stage. It's so exactly. powerful. Exactly. So exactly. Then it says, and whatever city you go into, and crowd who in it is worthy and he says when you come into a house salute it but if the house does not receive you this verse 14 depart sure. serve, 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 in servanthood you are being trained to preach in places that don't work to have services that don't work out like you went to a Which place that didn't really receive you <laughs> you prayed you know our, our michael michael Coliano said he said um you know he, he a lot of people don't know this but he said i went to many churches and i prayed for the sick many times and it just didn't happen mm -hmm. i heard todd white wow. saying he prayed for a thousand people without seeing a miracle it's like yes go to the house they don't receive you shake the dust off your feet and still maintain the faith wow. like, i mean wow. amazing. amazing and then he says I, I i send you forth as sheep amongst wolves all of this and he says mm -hmm. when you go take no thought how, what you'll speak, it will be given to you in the same hour, for it's not you that speaks, but the Spirit of your Father will speak in you. And he's teaching mm. them how to preach, how to use the how Holy to Spirit. Preach. How to, and that's what Daniel Kalanda said, I'll preach for 10 minutes, I'll preach here, I'll, you may have a church, but you're still, you're serving someone. When you have in your mind that I'm, I'm ministering, that's what destroys so many people. No, yeah. you're pastoring someone's branch, bro. You're pastoring you're someone's pastor. church. You're serving someone's calling and someone's ministry. Wow. Anyway, wow. I can keep going. Matthew 10 is a long, a long thing. And then, and I think that's what you that's what you even said. It's like sometimes you feel like because you're a pastor or because you have a church or because you're preaching, mm. I, I'm a, I preach sometimes, but I serve sometimes. Like yes. you know, like like I, I preach a little bit and I take I take a little bit from profit here and there, and then like mm. I kind of like add it to what I think I know, and then I. Mm. But I'm not. I feel like sometimes we don't actually see ourselves. Like I'm literally just serving. Like I mm. have. Tell me what to preach. Like that's why. Mm. Like, tell me what to preach. Tell me what to say. Tell me where to go. I have no mind. I have no will. I'm not even trying to achieve anything. I'm just trying to obey. And mm. I think that that's like powerful, bro. Just... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So anyway, hey, been a pleasure. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Um, servanthood is, is, a, is a step to the anointing. Check your mega church. Actually, I, what I'm even sharing is actually a message, but I just don't want to reveal that. So. Bro, I would just feel like yeah. wrong, bro. We got some 10 minutes, bro. No, we we're done. Minutes. Oh, man. I'm gonna call All you right. off there. Hey guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Um, also, did you know that David Yeboah lied to us? Yeah, that was serious. He gave it he to his friend, he... and of course, his friend paid for it. So, what he's actually trying to say is he sold the rest of it. Yeah, he oh. sold the rest. Okay, he told the story. He's like, yeah, like I dumped all the stuff out and I knelt down on my knees. And from that day, I, it was over. He dumped, but... he dumped that out into a bag, ready to go and sell, bro. Yes, and, and then he, he said he got like a small percentage. I asked, "Do you get a percentage?" And he said he, he didn't answer me. So he, I, I mean, so I think he still got like some. Pay, he, he still got paid over the course of time and stuff. So I don't know. What's Ben saying? A three-way call with who? I think he said that you you you'll call me off the of air. So I think he wants to join that conversation. What's he doing? I don't know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Stretch for the hand. Let's pray for Ben. Father, help him in Jesus' name. Father. Save delivery. Anyway, I love you guys so much. We had a blessed time. Tomorrow we have Dr. Mike Murdoch. Next week, Thursday, we have Bishop Charles and Janasari. Amazing healing ministry. Um, a great event. Oh, what? This yeah, is yeah. Crazy. So that's next week, Thursday. But there's there's some other stuff coming up. So, but as soon as you guys stop being interested, interested, then we'll just stop. We will never stop being interested, bro. We go get yeah. the numbers. <laughs> so crazy. anyway. Thank yeah. you for making this happen for us all the time, bro. Honestly, it's a, it's a blessing. Like, I would never be able to hear Daniel Kalenda's story like that. I've been looking on YouTube, trying to find some details. He doesn't have a book. He doesn't have anything. And, like, he just comes on your IG 
and just gives us the craziest details. It's amazing, bro. Honestly. And and, and what he said about the Crusades are amazing, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're blessed, friends. Thank you so much for your help. And um, Jeremy, thank you for always being here. And thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a blessing. Thank you. All right.